What's up guys, I'm Jesse Nolan. We're doing a PMI inspection on the cabin hood. Uh, during a PMI, you wanna check out everything on the outside of the body. We have an international Transtar 8600. First thing you wanna do is make sure that the grill is intact. Nothing blocking the airway to the radiator and the oil cooler. Check the front lamps on there. Make sure they're not cracked or broken. The bumper is secure. Come over here, look at the light. Make sure there's no cracks. Bad fogging, which has little bit. We need to address that. We'll make sure that the lights are the mirrors are secure, boat shield is secure and not broken. If you want to go into the fenders, you should make sure there's no big breaks, cracks, dents. Um, the more you look and inspect, the more there's not on your shoulders. Um, you want to go into the tires and wheels, make sure all the lug nuts are there, good tread depth. You don't have to do that during a PMI inspection, but it's good since you're already doing this. Um, you want to keep going, make sure the hood latches are working properly, just securing the hood. You want to make sure that the doors are walk, working properly. You want to make sure all these steps are secured. The mirrors, no cracks or breaking in the mirror. It is broken on the top guard up there. You need to adjust that or write that down. Um, you want to keep going. Make sure that the fairings and the handrails are good so that you can, uh, they're not broken, could be a safety hazard. Um, you want to make sure these steps, all the steps on all the air on the truck are good. Um, the battery box is loose. We need to adjust that or bring that to the attention of the driver. Um, if you want to come over here, you would uh, make sure all your air hoses, electrical hoses, your pigtail, all this stuff is nice and where it's supposed to be, not broken, uh, dry rotted, uh, cracked, anything like that, um, and that they're secured where they're supposed to be. As you walk around, you still want to make sure that every single tire isn't damaged, the rims are secure, the lug nuts are there. Um, that's what I have my list here for. Um, you want to check the rear end, make sure that it has mud flaps, which the mud flaps are gone, which is a safety hazard. Um, you want to check your penal hook. This penal hook is damaged. You would write that down. You want to go up underneath here and make sure that your lights are not broken or cracked, that they're still uh, that they're sealed and that they're there. Um, usually on a truck, you don't have a uh, car hauler like this on here, so you would check the fifth wheel for general um, inspection, breakage, cracks, anything like that. As we go around, you can just check the... the airbags right there you can check the tires for any cracks brakes um, audible leaks uh, you would check this out the rims as you go around on all of them you would uh, make sure that all your fairings are there it looks like there's mud flap something missing here would have to go to the specs to figure out what that is um, once again fairings outside of the exhaust this door mirror this mirror is also broken at the stabilizer on the top. Once again, steps, hood latch, everything you can see on the outside. If there is anything broken, scratched, um, rusted, you want to make sure you write that down on your paperwork so that you are not liable or your business is not liable for you. So now we're going to go inside and do the end cab inspection. How you doing guys? We're back. We're on the inside of the cab now. Um, I got my list here. First five things on the list shows that uh, it's all low air buzzers, um, checking your lights, your meters, your volts, making sure all your dials are working properly. Um, so all you do is you push you push your clutch in to start it, which we're not gonna do yet. Um, and you just turn to the on position. Now here, if you wanna come in here real quick, you can see that all of the dummy lights are on in, in the dash. That's to help the driver see if there's anything wrong. Drivers are not technicians. They see a buzzer, they bring it in. The buzzer you're hearing at the moment is the low air pressure for the brakes. If you do not have enough pressure, your brakes will lock. Um, so you wanna make sure that you always have proper air. So what we're gonna do now is crank the truck up. While the truck is warming up, some of the sensors will go to work. Um, we'll just check as like the oil pressure is rising. Uh, your bolts are now going up. Your throttle is working properly. Um, we'll let that air build up and we'll go to the accessories right here. Um, you wanna also check the accessories um, for the fan motor is not working. Which if the fan motor is not working, none of this will work. Then you wanna go on the radio. Radio does not work, um, which is a problem. As you see, the buzzer has just went off, um, which means the air pressure is at 70 PSI, which now means that you have proper air. It'll probably raise to about 120, which is pretty good. Um, you want to go in to continue to check um, these different switches. Some of them work, some of them are not. Like your suspension dump is working, but some of these slides for the fifth wheel park regen is not working. Um, so now we're going to come over here. 
truck should be good to go. Parking brake is on, so I can show you this, the fuses over here. Now these fuses, you want to make sure that all the fuses are there. Um, as you can see, this area right here is missing a lot of fuses, which in this diagram will show you what it does. Now these are missing fuses, so these could be the reason why the radio, fan, motor, and different things are not working properly. So we would go to the specs of the truck and figure out what it is for further diagnosis. So now if you want to come in, I'll have my uh, guy at the front do the thing. Uh, and we'll get him to tell us if my headlights are working. So we'll turn the headlights on and he says, we're good to go. We'll turn the hazards on. He says, good to go. All right, we got our windshields. Oh, maybe not working. There we go, windshields are working. Turn signals are working, sir. Good. Now we'll get him to go around to the back and we will get him to see if the parking brakes and the park, the brake lights, reverse lights and everything are working properly. So we have Lamar in the back, all right? So we'll put this thing in, we'll take the parking brake off. Parking lights are working and Reverse lights are working. Um, now anytime you shut the truck off, you wanna make sure your parking brake is on so that it does not move. And that would be a cab and hood inspection with a little more things added into it just for your uh, safety and your shop safety. Thank you for watching.